What's up, guys? Nokorama here, and welcome to the arcade. This is supposed to be a short um, horror game uh, based on Stranger Things. Uh, I've never seen Stranger Things myself, but I've heard much good about it, and this is a horror game. I mean... Okay... Huh, <laughs> Street Fighter. Okay. Pac-Man, Space Invaders. Gosh. That's going back actually in time now. Like, I never was in an arcade ever. I mean, I suppose I'm actually also a little bit uh, too young to have basically lived in that day and age, <laughs> so to speak. Oh, hey. It was actually a Pac-Man. I do remember, though, I played this type of Pac-Man on, on the early, like, Windows XP back then. <laughs> also, those pinball machines. Like, damn. This place actually looks neat. But also in t really, really small. Where am I actually even supposed to go? I mean, I don't know anything about buttons, but... Oh. Uh... Okay. Okay. Hold on. <coughs> and there we go. Space Invaders, Street Fighter, and Stranger Things. What? Oh yeah, that's the cast from from it. Because I do know that uh, there there was basically like all of that stuff. Oh god damn it, my throat! <coughs> ah, I, I need to drink something. Hold on. Uh. Okay. Let's hope that is actually fixing it. Nope. Oh, but there's something. Okay. I'm. I, I guess I'm supposed to play the game, even though. Wait, you can't play this. Hello? Hello? I'm pressing interact button. I... What? Wait. Huh? Did I break the game? Nope, I can't even use that door anymore. Okay. Seriously, did I did I break the game? I I can't interact with this. I'm literally wait, hold on, maybe I can. Yeah. You literally do it by clicking the mouse button. I literally just spammed my mouse button. I hope people could actually hear that because Jesus Christ, it doesn't work. What am I? Whoa! Where the fuck am I? Hello? What? What the fuck? 
Oh. I... What? Oh! An experience by Sebastian Renz. I can't pronounce that name. <laughs> uh, Nastia, I suppose. Thank you for playing. Oh. <laughs> what? Okay, yeah, I, I knew it's supposed to be a short game, but... Damn, I wasn't expecting it to be this short. Uh, I might actually boot up another game uh, as a little bonus, okay? Uh, give me a moment. Alright. Here we have a um, serious warning about this game. Uh, it's, it is supposed to be like a horror game, but it has serious uh, topics in it. So, viewer discretion is advised. This game is called Reflection. Which is supposedly a visual novel. I'm not... Whoa. I'm usually not somebody who uh, plays visual novels, but it did look pretty good. So, yeah. The sweet smoke of the dying candle dances through the room, enveloping my senses. A small distraction as the dark world behind my eyes descends. Okay, deep breaths. Visualize. Feel the room. Time passes, though how much I'm unsure. The tendrils of my memory reach out, shaping the darkness, giving it life. Come on, focus. worked. I sigh, repeating the descriptions my friends had made of me before. You're insane. Certifiably crazy. Giving my head a shake, I continue. Here we go. The first rule. Contemplate your decision to visit. Well, I'm a curious person. Maybe a simple answer isn't enough. I'm studying folklore and a lofty occult. I'm working on my masters. And yesterday I noticed just how empty my apartment is. It doesn't feel like it's mine yet. I moved from shared housing and finally have my own space. I was excited at first. No roommates, no parties, no drama. But aside from a ba bed and table, I didn't bring furniture. Not even a mirror. So I walked into an antique store when I saw an old mirror in the window, and I bought it. When I tore off the paper the clerk had wrapped it in, I saw writing on the back of the frame, carved into the wood, the rules. When online searches and the school archives turned up blank, I knew I had to play. Ouija boards, pendulums, tarot cards. I've tried them all. If it's an occult practice, I've studied it. Rituals especially. Alright, 
covered rules, uh, rule one. The second rule. Give her permission to borrow your voice, but nothing else. I continue without hesitation. You may borrow my voice. There's no reply. Rule three. Let go until she arrives. I loosen my grip and allow my mind to wander. Hair raises as my flesh screams below, begging me to turn back. I love the sensation. Review the rules while you wait. I recite them in the stillness of the void. Allow her to speak first. Ask if you've met before. Speak quietly. Say goodbye. Don't open your eyes. Don't accept any deals. Never break the mirror. Never visit twice. Never scream. I resist the urge to roll my eyes. These rules reek of childish plotting. Something shifts. My nails dig into the vanity, nearly cracking. The sensation of breath on my neck is familiar. The pattern unmistakably human. As the air traces my skin, I feel an echo in my bones. It's cold. Freezing. She's here. A presence. It's how I've imagined the spirit world to be. Back to back with our own. Felt and heard, but unseen. Ivy. My heart shudders. I knew she'd borrow my voice, but... That's fucking weird. I clear my throat. Hell? The rule jumps to my mind, and I rush to correct myself. Uh, have we met? Yes. A gasp escapes me. It's not a scream. It doesn't count. I know what it's like to try to scream. How did she... But I didn't... But I didn't when the girls first came for me. I ran to my father instead. He opened the door when they brought the rope. He didn't want a troublesome daughter. A girl who reeks of vanity. A sinner. A little witch. They were jealous girls. Even when I hung from the tree, my hair fell in perfect ringlets and glistened in the sunlight. Whoa. They didn't stay to watch me die. You see, they didn't drop me from the branch. They lowered me. It was slow and boring. They hanged me from a willow on the edge of the lake. I used to admire my reflection on that riverbank. But that day, I swung in the breeze and watched my feet dangle above the water's edge.
I saw my eyes bulge, and my tongue beg to leave my throat. Okay, before I'm going to continue here real quick. That... This style here right now, and the visual novel style, it does remind me actually about uh, another game that I've previously played on my channel. If people remember the game, it's it was called um, Don't Open Your Eyes. This is this is crazy. Once again, once again, a game like this. This is actually fascinating. I wasn't pretty anymore. Just like father said. Cursed is everyone that hangs on a tree. Now I visit girls like me. The ones who watch themselves die slowly. My throat tightens. I'm not like you. Goosebumps trace my spine as she laughs. Do you remember the bridge? Those girls were just like the ones that tied the noose. You thought they were your friends. My nails dig under the skin of my palm. Don't antagonize a spirit that can literally go completely wrong. I want out. Goodbye. You're afraid because you remember. I was in the river when you jumped. Just beneath the surface. Waiting with arms outstretched. Our eyes met as you plunged below. We met again shortly afterward. I glanced at you from the bottom of a bottle. You took those pills from a stranger's hand and dropped them on your tongue. You felt pretty when you did that. I watched you drown them in liquor. Now you're here, ready to die. No! What did those girls call you? Daredevil, thrill seeker, junkie, suicidal. They weren't wrong. And every time you survived that, pl uh, survived that plunge, you climbed higher. I shake my head. I wasn't trying to kill myself. Don't lie. I've been watching. Every risk. That jump. Those pills. Summoning her. I did it willingly. I liked it. You just need to bring the rope. Trust me, you'll love the feeling. It's better than every brush with death. Give me your hands. I'll do it for you. The rules. Give her nothing else. I won't let you. Don't be scared. It's fast, like cliff jumping. Give me your eyes. No. Maybe I was wrong. You're not ready. But... I want you to stay. That mirror broke and I was loud. Oh. The sweet crash of glass shattered my focus. My hand trembles as I reach out, refusing to open my eyes. To my relief, the mirror remains intact. As I lower my hand, I feel it. 
a braided necklace tightening. So pretty. I have a gift for you. Let me get the clasp. Please, I... I won't visit again. I promise you will. Goodbye. The rope slips away. She's gone. Goodbye. Okay. Usually this is not my style that I'm basically just reading stuff and basically nothing more is happening. But I hope you guys at least enjoyed my reading here. Um, if you did, I mean, I might ca could actually see if I could play more games like these. Uh, I, I don't know if people would be interested in that, but... I actually did have a little bit of a chill running down my spine because the thing is I I'm not uh paranoid and that kind of stuff but I do believe in spirits and basically having this this feeling that somebody is just with you using your voice and basically trying to convince you to do something that that you necessarily don't want to do yourself at the moment. It is... It, it is a feeling of unease. It's a feeling of... Of... Like... Like your brain perceives it as a threat, obviously. But in that moment, you actually have to stay calm. I, I know, I know, I know. Some people might actually think right now, what the hell is Naka talking about right now? It's not that I tried something like this myself. This is not what I'm trying to say by that. My, what I'm trying to say is, because I believe in spirits, and I kind of felt sometimes like uh, in a similar situation, like where you have the feeling that somebody has their hands on your shoulders, for example, even though you know exactly there is no one there. It, it gives a feeling of of unease and specifically also a feeling that you might actually well it, it gives you also a feeling that you might be going crazy even though it is not the case uh, it, it's hard to explain for people who don't believe in spirits or ghosts in general um it is hard for them to comprehend that but this game was pretty amazing because it it plays into um into multiple se uh, aspects first of all paranormal activities which is certainly a thing of reality and second it plays into the insecurity of people there or also of thrill seekers by doing stuff that could potentially end their life suicidal thoughts in some people or even drug abusers it it is crazy how how slim sometimes the, like the veil between those uh aspects can be but i don't want to go now too deep into this because i don't want to sound completely crazy here right now um but i have high respect for this game if you want to play this game for yourself, um, link is going to be provided down in the description below. But I say it like it is. This game is amazing. I actually... It, it's hard maybe for you guys to believe that, but it actually made me have a little bit goosebumps. Because... Again, I do believe in spirits. So... I. I, I guess I can kind of relate to that when you feel like that you have somebody looming over your shoulder, cold breath on your neck and that kind of stuff. 
it, it's relatable. But again, only people who know this feeling and believe in stuff like this can actually relate. But yeah, for now though, thank you all so much for watching. If you liked it, then leave back a like and a comment. Tell me what you thought about it. And if you want to see more, then subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon to be always up to date for new content. And as per usual, I hope I see you guys in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.